Hello and welcome to my channel and welcome to another Supergirl reaction episode 7 uh, Human for a day in the last episode we saw um, we saw Kara looking at her hand bleeding and wondering how she can possibly cut herself I was wondering the same thing myself and in Human for a day the title suggests that we are going to see her succumb to what she'd been poisoned with kryptonite that's the usual thing that makes um, people from krypton lose their powers so has she been infected by kryptonite or has she been infected by something else but we're going to see her powerless and I can't help but think that if that is what we're going to see that it's a little bit early in the series for seeing that we, I mean we've only just started seeing her use her powers to maximum force I mean that heat sequence that heat ray I think sequence in the last episode just awesome absolutely awesome so this episode sounds a little bit boring but what do I know I haven't watched it yet so let's find out Let's see how wrong I am. You may feel confused or even frightened they're lost forever. Your battle with the android drained your Kryptonian cells of their solar energy. You are now as vulnerable oh, right. to your environment as any human, subject to pain, sickness, death. But have faith, Kara. Once your cells have reabsorbed sufficient radiation from Earth's yellow star, your power should return. Thank you. This happens to Superman too. But he loses his powers for a couple days, right? Yeah, but it's been two days and I don't feel any different. You're just going stir crazy because the DEO has been testing you all weekend. Now you get to go out into the real world and see what it's like. Yeah, to I was going to say, she's not going to uh, absorb radiation from Earth's yellow sun if she's stuck down there. Fine. I guess if this is what fine feels like now, Kara is heading to work. I was just going to walk her out. I'm off to deal with an unruly guest. Might need your help with him when you're done. Happy to, sir. Oh, there yeah, they don't trust him, do they? <laughs> oh gosh, she got cold now. Kara, uh, what, uh, what's, what's happening? Uh, there's a ten-year-old on the bus with a runny nose. Okay, you're late. You took the bus, and what, you have, you have a cold. I blew out my powers fighting that android. Still have the uh, the Kryptonian bioanalytics from Alex's DO files. So it was Red Tornado that caused it, was it? Did someone just sneeze? Who did that? Who among you sprayed my office with a million microscopic killers? I can already feel my throat closing up. <laughs> you, Kira? Kira, why? You never get sick. That's the best part about you. That's the best part. If I get sick, I will underperform. If I underperform, our stock prices will fall. Thousands of people will lose their job. The S&P will take a hit, and you will personally have triggered the next recession. Do you want to be the next? Gosh, she thinks life? herself. Yes, I'll go home. Thinks a lot of herself, doesn't she, Cat? Don't exhale on the way out. Oh, what the hell are you? Worn yourself out yet? Bow your head when you approach me. I am Jeff, master of the faceless hunters, conqueror of twelve worlds. Yeah, I heard you the first ten times. It's not getting any more impressive. I'm trying to use your psychic powers, aren't you? Take control of my mind, force me to let you out. I hate to break it to you, Jeff, but your cell has neural shielding. Your powers are useless. Mm -hmm. Been deactivated. So that I may expose your true identity as a coward. I will grind your loved ones to dust. There are none left to grind. Ooh. That was dark. Jim's fish tank is in need of its monthly cleaning. Copy that. I'm on it. Just lay low and enjoy your time off. You know? Yeah, you're right. The world can survive without Supergirl for one day. 
Nope, it can't. What the hell? An earthquake, really? the conqueror of 12 worlds is gonna escape yep R&D developed these neural disruptors Portable versions of the energy shield we used to block Jem's powers when he gem. came out. And we only have three okay. Left, so well, that's a Jed. Jem. Jem. Jem, Jem, Jem. I have more field experience than Reynolds and Sung combined. Which is why I needed to remain behind and protect the others. I have to know I'm leaving these people with someone I can trust. Unless you're implying you and I have a problem. No, sir. <laughs> Glad to hear it. We can't leave. Director Henshaw ordered us to stay here. We don't even know if he's still alive, Donovan. These people are relying on us. We're going. All right. Do not open this door until you get it all clear from me, and only me. Mind lowering that weapon. <laughs> what happened? We lost visuals. It was interference from Jim's psychic powers. He ambushed us. Solomon Reynolds. Gone. Oh dear. I'm loaded. I'm ready to go. You can. Only one disruptor left. Jim destroyed the others. Donovan, get back to your post. Look, I need you to do what I say when I say it. Jim destroyed the others, or did you? I found burn marks on Reynolds' skull. They're from a psychic scan. Alex, you gotta trust me. <laughs> yeah, like I trust you. There's nothing, nothing, so nothing she can do. Ordinary human, but nothing wrong with that. One man. No hero can save everyone, not even Superman. There's plenty of heroes out there that have no powers whatsoever. Nurses, firemen. Get out of there, Carol. Carol, Alex. Go. Go. Oh, brilliant. Get out of 
have here. That could have gone so wrong. This is actually proving to be a far more exciting episode than I ever thought it would be. That gem is a nasty piece of work. Is that Henshaw? What are you doing, Hank? See the real Hank, Hank Henshaw now. You chain yourself to those bars there now. Jem, this is Agent Ambers. I know you want those blast doors open. You don't need to release the prisoners to do that. All you need is me. I have the access code. I'll be waiting for you. What are you doing, Alex? Because one way or another. Now. Hey, I'm sorry, but for today, you, you're not, you're not gonna be human anymore. You can have your powers. You, you live on like a different level than the rest of us. Oh, Jim. Everybody okay? Yeah, yeah, we're we're okay. That wasn't an aftershock. That was an explosion. It's gotta be the gas line. Check like the stairs. Please. What's your plan, Alex? Show yourself. Let us see if you die with more honor than your fallen friends. I bet you can take that. Oh, that's what gave him his powers. Oh no, maybe not. Oh dear. He's quite tough. What? What? Is that Hank? Maybe you're not, but what are you? James! Go! Go get help! Hurry! Go on! Come on! James! Yeah, just standing around. Come on. No, Rom doesn't seem to be bothering her anymore. Has she realised that yet? That wouldn't just break, would it? See? <laughs> Where's her clothes? He almost gave me a heart attack. She whips off the arm bandage and we come back all dressed, all dressed as Supergirl. Now she's got to get her clothes back to go to the office. <laughs> oh, put the road back. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> Answers time, Hank. You're wondering how I got out of a pair of locked handcuffs. For starters. There's only one other living person who knows the truth. Are you sure you want to hear this? You can't share this with anyone, not even Kara. Can you do that? You're the one who taught me to keep secrets from her. I am not Hank Henshaw. Mm. He died the same night as your father. Uh. The O had been pursuing an alien for months. She's not one of the Fort Gras prisoners, but an innocent one stranded on this planet. With the help of your father, the DEO tracked the alien to a remote location in Peru. And Shaw led the squadron sent to terminate him. My father would never have been part of a mission like that. You're right. Jeremiah Danvers was a good man. You realize the alien they were hunting wasn't a threat. It was a refugee, like your sister. Sole survivor of a lost world. Your father tried to stop the mission, but Henshaw was obsessed. He'd finally trapped the alien they'd been hunting for so long. saw Jeremiah made the ultimate sacrifice he gave his life to save that alien your father died a hero that alien Shapeshifter. Yeah, of course. When Hank Henshaw died, I assumed his identity to perform the DEO. But I also made your father a promise that I would take care of his daughter. <laughs> I recruited you so that I would honor that promise and protect you as if you were my own child. If you're not Hank Henshaw. Who are you? And who's the other person that knows? I am the sole survivor of my planet. The last son of Mars. My name is Jean Jones. Jean Jones, okay. What the hell? Who just knocked you out of the sky? Oh. Who are you? Oh, of course. My dear niece. Did you really think this was over? No, definitely not. Well, I started. Oh, ow. Oh, my ears. Ow. Well, okay, I was wrong. I said at the beginning that it sounded like a, a bit of a boring episode, and it so wasn't. It so wasn't. We got answers to Hank. And doesn't he look awesome in his proper form? Absolutely brilliant. I wonder who the other person that knows the truth is. Because he did say living. There's only other one other living person that knows the truth. So I wonder who that is. And also, uh, what is Astrid up to now? Or whatever her name is. Yeah, Auntie. Auntie Evil, I'm going to call her. What's she up to now? I can't wait for the next episode. It's going to be awesome. Oh, <clears throat> until then, I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and 
leave comments and share this video with all your friends. <laughs> Catch you later. Bye-bye.